Today we are in David on one of our infamous stock up shopping trips and we're gonna check out some restaurants while we're here. This morning for breakfast and we've never gone out for breakfast in David. Uh, so this morning we decided to eat breakfast out and we're going to Mescla Gourmet which had really good reviews online for a great breakfast. The parking lot is full so let's go in and see what they got. Okay, for starters, it is super cute in here. Like, clean, modern, fancy, and they also have outside seating, which is super cute as well. Check this little yard out. Oh, check out that little pizza oven thing. This could be a good dinner place too, Brian. This could be a good dinner place too. All right, so let's check the menu for Mezcala. So this is their brunch menu here. You can see the prices are very reasonable. Um, I ended up with the breakfast sandwich and Brian ordered the omelet. Um, then they also, I guess, do lunch and maybe dinner too. Um, so here are like, uh, let's see. So here are the entrees or no, entradas. That's not entrees, that's like appetizers. Um, then something, I guess, sides kind of things. A uh, whole thing on burgers. And again, stop, just stop the video if you want to read all this. Uh, sandwiches. Uh, tacos, everyone's favorite. Wraps. Which, I don't know, that, that crispy chicken wrap is kind of speaking to me. That might be a dinner item. Um, then, uh, oh, they have pasta. They got a good selection of stuff here. Okay, arroces. I don't know what arroces are. Oh, rices. Okay, rices. I just didn't know what it looked like, plural. Um, salads. There's a keto salad. My friend Sharon would be thrilled. And then, uh, sweet, sweet something. Sweet sonrisa. Maybe some sort of drinks, I guess. All right. <clears throat> so then um, I asked what they had. Brian got coffee. He's already drank half that down and said it's really good. I got melon juice. It's really good. And we are waiting for our entree. Okay, this breakfast sandwich is massive. Check that out. Brian's omelet with what'd you get with that? What is that? Like corn, those little corn yeah. tortilla thingies that they corn make? Tortillas. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Wait, we don't have silverware. Oh, it's right there. Duh. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Crack into that and let me know what you think. Hot. <laughs> Are you gonna die? Mm -hmm. He's gonna die. Sure. It's good. Yeah. Except you're gonna die. <laughs> this is why I like to be behind the camera because nobody ever films me eating. Okay, I'll try my sandwich and come back and let you know how it was because there's no way I'm putting myself eating on camera. Okay, so here's something I have not had since I've been in Panama. This bread, you can see how thick it is. If you're familiar with Texas toast, that's what this bread tastes like. Like Texas toast. It's really soft. Soft bread can be, like, hard to find here in Panama. The bread is really good. The bacon is really good. The egg is really good. The cheese. I could always use a little more cheese. So that would probably be my only complaint. But it all, yeah, it tastes really good. So, so far, we're happy with our breakfast here. Yeah. Okay, so we finished our breakfast. $26 for two very nice, very good breakfasts. Uh, Brian had two coffees. I had one juice. So, not a bad price. I mean, you know, it's not like local prices, like, like a local Fonda kind of type prices. It's a little more expensive than that, but really good food. I would definitely come back here, no problem. And we made a new friend, Tyler from Volcan, who recognized us from our videos when we walked in. 
I'm telling you, it's to the point where we can't leave the house without getting recognized. Brian said, I'm going to have to start wearing big sunglasses. <laughs> but um, anyway, so we sat down and had a great chat with Tyler from Vulcan, who invited us up to his farm where he's doing some permaculture work. So hopefully we'll have a super cool video from Vulcan coming out in the next few months when we get a chance to get up there. Um, now we're off to go do some exploring and shopping in David, but we will be back for what we call Linner. I don't know what we're going to have yet, though. We had a big breakfast and a little bit late, so we won't have a lunch. We won't have a dinner. We'll have Linner, and we'll bring you along. And housekeeping, if you want more restaurant reviews, more shopping reviews, more things to do in Panama, more everything Panama, make sure you click subscribe, hit notify. That way, every time we put up a video, you'll be the first to know. And don't forget to join our I Go Panama Facebook group thousands upon thousands of people over there asking questions, answering questions about anything and everything Panama. Whether you want to move here, you live here already, you want to come for tourism, whatever it is about Panama, we're over there answering your questions. So that is linked below, as will be all of the information about these restaurants that we're visiting while we're here. All right, so we're off to go do some exploring and we'll be back for dinner. Okay, so sometimes you need something in between breakfast and dinner, and we just so happen to be at Federal Mall, and every time we come here, we always get a cookie and ice cream. So let me show you this place. It's really, really cool. Um, it's right, it's on the end, right down by Stevens on the second floor. So they have all of these gourmet cookies. Fabulous, fabulous. I went for the caramel cheesecake, like shut up. Um, okay, so they have like red velvet, chocolate supreme, Snickers, cookies and cream, s'mores. Ooh, I like that too. Macadamia chocolate chunk, double chocolate, m, m and caramel cheesecake. So you can get just a cookie and they have like the regular size and then the extra large size, okay? So regular size, let um, me zoom in on this. Zoom on this camera is terrible. Um, hopefully you can see it. And uh, the extra large cookies are 275, the mediums are 150. You can put them in a milkshake. So if you put the extra large in a milkshake, it's five dollars. Uh, if you put the medium in a milkshake, it's oh well, I guess it's also five dollars. Okay. <clears throat> you can also do like an ice cream sandwich or just get it with ice cream. Um, you can see they have Frosties, they have milkshakes, they have like sundaes, banana splits, like the whole thing, all these toppings and everything. So, what is the problem? What's happening? Okay. Okay, I don't know, Brian's having a billing problem because I quit speaking Spanish. So, okay, so here they have all of these like um, flavored bars. So they have fruit bars, cream bars and rellenas it's stuffed as rellenas so i guess it's like a bar that has something in the side of in the side of it so that's all of these gotta zoom back out okay then here are all of their ice creams like brian is dying because bailey's is his favorite and you can't even get it in the states anymore and they have it here um just tons and tons of different ice creams. I went for banana crunch because I'm a banana girl. There's maracuya. My friend Sharon would like that. Oh, mint chocolate chip. I didn't see that. That'll be for next time. So you can see they have a really cool selection of things. Cute little store. Nice little seating area here so you can watch the people go by. All right. So here is my um, caramel cheesecake cookie with a scoop of banana crunch on top. And this is Brian's, I got the medium. Brian, I see, got the extra large. I'm fat. <laughs> All right, so uh, what did you get? Double chocolate chunk? Double chocolate chunk with the Baileys. With the Baileys. All right, so $3 each for these guys, which compared to what it would be in Los Angeles, is actually a really good deal. All right, we're gonna dig in. Okay, Brian, quit chewing. Tell me, what do you think about this? <laughs> I was catching up. Waiter. I know. Full mouth. <laughs> I do that on it's purpose. Pretty good. 
It was pretty good. Actually, it's amazing. Mine, holy crap. Okay. One of my favorite flavors in the world is Bananas Foster. Like, if I ever moved to New Orleans, which I threatened to do before, I would weigh 600 pounds within a year just from all the fried food and especially the Bananas Foster. This caramel cheesecake cookie with banana ice cream on top is very reminiscent of Bananas Foster. It is a freaking amazing combination and I highly recommend it. Now I have to eat mine before it melts. All right, it is Linner time. And so that means because we're old and eat Linner at like four, that there's no one anywhere in any restaurant. Okay, so right up this road is where we had breakfast at Mescla. And so we just came down. There's like a lot of little food places right here along the road before you get to David. So some really nice little places. We decided to just stop here at this little food truck and see what was going on. It's called Aquí va la niña, which I think means like, like here goes the girl. I don't know, I think that's what it means. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Um, anyway, so this is the food truck. Okay, I'm gonna say it's a little expensive. Um, so burgers is what they're doing here. I got the Exploradora. And because a uh, mayo de pina is interesting to me. And Brian got the cualquiera. Uh, let's see. So then they have bandejas, but I don't know what that is exactly. Um, and like little sides, I guess. And a few little drinks. So not a massive menu, but we're going to see how this turns out. Nice little outdoor seating. And like I said, we have it all to ourselves. Oh, wait, not going to lie. This actually looks like a really good burger. The bread is very soft. Those fries look amazing. Look at the texture on those things. Brian's looks the same. All right, let's dig in. Is that fry taste as good as I think? Yeah. No horrible last <laughs> Okay. All right, so we have finished our burgers. What are your thoughts? Actually, a really good burger. Um, it wasn't super greasy, the sauces and the bacon were really good, the bun was really soft, so the burger gets two thumbs up. Alright. And the fries were actually really good, they're like garlic fries. Yeah, I love that texture on them. The tomato sauce that they sent is not actually ketchup, I can't quite place it, I don't know if it's a spaghetti sauce or something along <laughs> that side. It was a little weird, but it was fine. Okay. Okay, so, I, my only complaint is that like most beef hamburgers in Panama, the meat itself doesn't have a lot of flavor. So you kind of have to rely on things like pina mayo and bacon and cheese and that sort of stuff to really bring the flavor in. And then the meat just kind of brings in the bulk. It's sort of the same everywhere. So I'm kind of used to that at this point. The fries were amazing. Uh, so two burgers and two waters though, $22.50. I mean, like, like for specialty burgers like this, I guess it's not terribly expensive, but a little on the pricier side, I think. How much was uh, breakfast this morning? It was 26, 26. and then uh, dessert was 6 So I think what we need to do is just go with dessert more from dessert. now on. Yeah, more dessert and less, like, real food. If we leave now, we can still make it. Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay, so that does it for our food reviews of David for this trip. We're back every few weeks though, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you click notify, and the next time we post up restaurant reviews, be they in David or Bocas or Panama City or who knows where you might find us around Panama, you'll be the first to know. Also, again, make sure you join our I Go Panama Facebook group. If you have any questions about Panama or want to share your information about Panama, We'd love to have you over there. All right, so until next Friday, bon appetit. Or I wonder how you would say that in Spanish, dear. How would you say bon appetit? That's like good eating, I guess. Like, yeah, not sure. We'll have to look comer up. bueno, bueno comer. I don't know. Put it in the comments. Bye.